While in Canada, an unlikely coffee mogul is swigging cheap wine and living on the streets. In the uh, early 70s, uh, I'd hit a very difficult point in my life. I had um, an addiction to drugs and alcohol, and that had taken me to a place that was really quite alarming. I ended up on Skid Row in Toronto, Jarvis and Shooter Street, uh, panhandling on Young Street for nickels and dimes to get a bottle of wine, to get a place to stay, 50 cents a night, flop houses. If we wanted a blanket, we'd throw you another room 25 cents a thousand. And we didn't care about a blanket because we had a bottle of wine. Sure, a bottle of wine. We were called wine hotel, now we're called street people. Is that right? Yeah, well, I used to be a wino with you. Yeah. 99 cents for a bottle of wine, remember that? It was a time in my life where I experienced things that no person really needs to experience. <laughs> However, it happened in late December 1971, there was a kind of a moment of truth, a moment where I saw myself perhaps as I hadn't before, and I realized I couldn't go any further. I couldn't do this anymore. I started a company called The Second Cup. Do you know it? Oh, I know it, a coffee cup. Yeah, I created it. Well, yeah? So that's why they're doing it. But you know, 70s? 7-Eleven right. got better coffee than coffee time? Well, coffee time, yeah, but second cup is much better. I know it's better. Yeah, it costs more, though. Costs more, exactly. Good meeting you. I have a pleasure meeting you. Good luck. Adios. Thank you. God bless you all.